Hi, are you here for the 30 day law of attraction crash course? Well, we're about to get started. Come on in. We are talking about meditation today. Yes, you heard me right. Hello, my positive peeps. This is Lori, your positivity princess. Welcome to the Lori show. For the entire month of August, I've been doing a 30 day law of attraction crash course just for beginners. If you absolutely love this law of attraction course, give me a little thumbs up. Every single like helps to send this video out into that YouTube ethernet. Show me some love. Also leave a comment below real quick. Let me know one little thing that you've learned from this course so far. One little tidbit. I hope there's like one little thing or many. Okay, each video in this crash course will flow nicely into the next video, just like a continuous lesson. Today is day 24. Click here to start at day one to start at the very beginning. Each video is under 10 minutes long, so we can be mindful of that time of yours because I know we are all very, very busy. Don't forget to slow down once in a while. Allow me to mention that course workbook. It is free and it is in the link below in the description. So you can print it up and you can follow along for the rest of the 30 days. For a quick recap of all the material we've covered so far, again, click in the description below. We are on day 24, so there's some content that you might wanna catch up on. I have a question for you to begin. Have you tried meditation? I find in my experience, there are three kinds of mentalities that surround meditation. Which one are you? So mentality number one, I love meditation. I do it daily and it is transformative. Number two, I have tried, it didn't work for me. I may try again, but I don't really care for it. And number three, no way, I don't care for meditation. It's not for me. Which one are you? Which one are you? Comment below and let me know, no judgment. If you already participate in daily meditation, then you know just how beneficial it can be. Meditation can help you to monitor and control that constant roll of thoughts that never stops. It can help you to sleep better, control your organ function, reduce anxiety, get less headaches, especially those migraines, less depression, and help you see the magic that life offers. I want you to try to meditate for five minutes each day. It does not matter what time of day. You will find what time you prefer. Okay, this is what you will do. Okay, so find a quiet place with minimal distraction. If you cannot find a quiet private place, use earbuds or headphones or even earplugs, that would be ideal. You would sit upright as to not fall asleep. I like to sit in the typical meditation cross-legged position. Back straight, neutral head, facing forward, hands resting on knees with palms up. Close your eyes, focus on breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take a deep breath all the way into your belly or just breathe in and out nice and slow and steady. Feel the air coming in and filling your lungs and then coming back out. Imagine breathing in so much love and then breathing out that love that will spread to all of the people that you encounter today. If a thought comes in, say, hello, I hear you, but later is better. Imagine a white dot right in the center of your mind's eye. Stare at it. If you have any difficulties in keeping your mind quiet, say a mantra or a word like, I love you or love and light or peace, whatever you like. Sometimes I imagine the words love and light side by side. And I imagine them moving away from each other and leaving a gap right in between them. That gap or space is where you can linger for just a moment or two. That nothingness, that peace, that quiet, that calm, no expectations, no rules, no demands. It's pure bliss, peace, love, and calm. Dr. Wayne Dyer, I don't know if you've heard of him. He talks about this gap technique. He uses the words, our father, but this religious aspect is not necessary, but it's also a really beautiful idea if you are into that. Another way to calm the mind is to picture space, vast space. Each star is just a small problem that you have that's far away. It's not your priority right now. You're fine, you're calm, you're happy and free. Your homework, my lovelies, will be to try to meditate for even just three to five minutes today. Comment below, I will try to meditate today. Comment below, I will try to meditate today. Remember what Yoda says, do or do not, there is no try. I did a short bonus video. It should be posted very shortly. It is a method for quieting the busy mind. Use this on those days where your mind won't quit. A 
Okay, my most intelligent, beautiful students, thank you so much for watching this and for coming to class today. I appreciate every single one of you. Tomorrow we shall continue with the next lesson. Don't forget, if you have not clicked that subscribe button, please do, and that bell notification so that you do not miss the next lesson. Have a most glorious, beautiful, wonderful, lovely day, and I love you so much. Have a great day. A, B positive. Mwah.